I know this is an old video, but sometimes it's good to look back on old videos and kind of connect the dots a little bit. So that's what we're doing here today. Um, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment if you have anything else to say or want to suggest another video for me. Anything's appreciated. All right, enjoy it. Hello and welcome to the 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais, thank you. You'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking, I never <laughs> did. Let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die soon, and there's no. I don't know if they're jokes, but in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Shush. It's her. It's her daughter. I look at Tom Hanks. Okay. He's like, that's oh, shut up, the shut up. Thing that's ever happened to her, and her dad was in Wild Hogs. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. No, I watch YouTube. Should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. See, and that's like, he's telling the truth right there. It's just, you know, people don't want to believe it you know and that's the problem it was a big year for pedophile movies um surviving r kelly leaving neverland two popes <laughs> shut up shut up i don't care look don't look care. at his face look at his face he's like damn this guy's exposing us like live you know okay the irishman was amazing long but amazing um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Like, is it weird that Leo only dates younger women, or is it just he just prefers it that way? I don't know. I'm sure younger women love them. Many talented people of color were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So we were going to do an in- Look at that. You see that face? We're trying to find a good video to do on this guy because, uh, yeah, I, I heard some pretty bad shit about him. I looked into it after I read a comment on one of my last videos and yeah i really want to get to know what this conspiracy is all about so we'll be checking that out soon we were going to do an in memoriam this year but when i saw the list of people that had died it wasn't diverse enough it just no apple roared into the the tv game with a morning show a superb drama yeah a superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent. If you do win an award tonight. He is spitting facts, though. He's just doing it in a joking manner, you know? I know this video is old, right? And we've all seen it, but... You know, it's it's good to come back and look at videos like this and then see what's going on now. And then you just connect the dots. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of dot connecting going on, especially now. Don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So if you win, right? Come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god. And well, he said, and fuck off, which I agree with. None of these people that are at this uh, 
award, global awards or golden globes, whatever they fucking call it nowadays. Um, none of these people know our problems or what we're really going through. They can't connect with us on any way. That's why I just cannot watch shows like I used to or listen to music like I used to. None of that stuff connects with me anymore. A lot of it is pushing terrible shit on people. So that's another reason why I'd rather find a good YouTube video or chat with my wife. You know what I mean? Or call friends or do something other than, you know, listen to or listen to or watch the propaganda that's on our televisions or in our music, you know? Look at his face. That's how you know when those jokes hit somebody personally. You know, look at this guy's face. Tom Hanks. Yeah, we're going to be doing a video on him real soon. Heard he's a creep. I really haven't looked too deep into that one. I pay more attention to other things. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to be doing some deep dives on some of these creeps. You know, and they're obviously creeps because you don't make a face like that unless you're guilty of something, even if it was a freaking joke. You know what I mean? So, yeah, suspicious, but yeah, well, it is what it is. This guy, Ricky, love this guy. He, it seems like he is against the Hollywood so that's a good guy in my book. You know what I mean? So yeah. If you guys like that video, I got a couple other videos, you know, maybe check them out. Maybe don't. Who knows? Have a good one. Catch you on the next one.